Okay, so I'd like to talk to you about a laser hive conversion to the Mirror Drive Door Mac. Now, I don't know whether you're familiar with the Mirror Drive Door model, but it um, has this really nice panel at the front that normally on the first slot where you can see this camera is plugged in, it would have a DVD drive. Now, inside the Mirror Drive Door uh, Mac, when you convert that to a PC configuration, there's no room for a DVD drive in that location. So here you can see, got this nice output panel, which is uh, it's got capable of two uh, USB 3 slots, and it's got HD audio, uh, mic, and uh, headphone inputs. Also got two USB 2.0 ports and FireWire, and that's completely functional. Now you can see here that the front panel is also functional with the uh, power switch and that's the uh, power LED that's on there in white and where the headphone socket was there is an HD uh, activity light to show you what the hard disk is doing and show you that that's on. Otherwise this is all completely standard and uh, when you shut the front flap up and you don't have anything plugged in, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and an original uh, mirror drive door model. Okay, you can see here on the side, all exactly the same as original, and of course on the opening door, you've got exactly the same here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the back of this model, and you can see exactly how the conversion has worked on the back. Okay, obviously I've got very various things plugged in, but here you can see that um, it's been converted from the unusual mirror drive door back configuration to something that looks a little bit more like a standard uh, earlier G4 configuration with the sawtooth Mac but instead it still actually has all of the um, mirror drive door original features so you've got um, the power supply and slot with the mesh going down the right hand side so it's basically the door that's being converted here to make it work and you can see we've got two laser cut panels here we've got a right hand panel that on this one is coloured in a gloss grey and uh, that's quite a popular colour because it goes very well with the original colouring, it's quite close to it. On the left hand side, uh, that's actually a matte black panel and of course you can ask for whatever colour you want but um, that's just a, just a contrast there to show you, you can have it all grey and it would look very Mac like. I'm going to open this up now so you can see the system is running so um, it retains all the configuration features of the original mirror drive door in that you can open the whole system while it's still running. Here you go, so you've got a uh, micro ATX board mounted on the door which is great. This one is uh, my old work motherboard actually so this one is what I use to do all the laser cutting with and uh, I run Windows 7 on this to do that. This is actually, of course, the standard Intel cooler on there. Um, and we've got all the various bits and pieces coming in. Um, if you then look on the inside, you can see there's a 140 uh, millimeter fan there. And uh, this is the rear of the I.O. panel that I've added in. So that is a laser cut um, panel there with a Corsair I.O. fitment. Above that you can see the original um, power switch board and everything and actually that's all being converted on the inside so that you can reuse the original cable which comes down here. I've actually routed the cables behind the, uh, the other plastic panel on the other side so that you see they disappear in through this uh, rubber grommet to protect all the cables. And uh, 
similarly I've done that with the power supply here so the power supply has got uh, all its cables running running around the back and uh, the ones that I'm not currently using they are stored actually in the back part there the ones that I am using are coming through and uh, you can see they come through at the bottom here now there is a rectangular slot at the bottom which uh, feeds all the cables in I'm going to be making uh, cable covers so that actually you don't see all of this stuff in the bottom here but this actually just shows you how it works it's quite neat to show it I'll be showing uh, doing some videos of some accessories for this um, like the cable cover and stuff like that you can see all the different cables plugging in here and coming in there okay um, how this door actually works um, I'm going to write this up on the website on how to do a DIY conversion on this um, but basically uh, you have to use um, one part from the original mirror drive door model here so this uh, this outer door is original to the mirror drive model but the inner door actually comes from an earlier model so this can come from for instance a sawtooth Mac or something like that um, where they were actually just single skin so this was originally just the uh, the single skin door on the um, original sawtooth Mac that's been cut obviously to conform to uh, the different bits and pieces from the mirror drive and uh, also drilled and put into place now that really is needed because um, the back panel of the mirror drive door as it originally uh, came has a completely weird configuration and takes a lot of metal work to convert so grafting bits of two old Macs together to make one new conversion is quite a sensible idea and works quite well if you then come over here you can see this is an original drive carrier now it's been cut down slightly so you can see I put some trim on there but that can still carry a single three and a half inch uh, hard drive and you can also with a three and a half to two and a half inch adapter um, which uh, I can make out of uh, acrylic you can mount then a uh, for instance a SSD drive onto there uh, so you get two drives in there the reason I cut it down is so that when this door closes if you have a, a higher height uh, video card a more modern one than one that I've got in for instance um, a 560 Ti or something like that um, that can actually fit completely in this case and uh, not interfere with the drive there now if you just take a little look at the back of here you can see that um, the metalwork of the original um, mirror drive door on that side is pretty much unchanged there are a few little bits and pieces here and there where you have to trim a few tabs off to get the um, other side to fit properly um, but really there's nothing major um, it's, uh, it's a very simple uh, conversion to that side what I've done with the power supply here um, is of course optional it's the way I chose to do it I've kept the original mirror drive door housing for their power supply because I really like the way that it all fits in there um, and inside that I've put a 500 watt uh, shuttle PSU so that, uh, that all fits really neatly in there and it's got fans on the intake and on the exhaust as well so that shouldn't get hot and it's in the original placement um, if you don't have the original housing or you want to do something different uh, then it's very easy of course to do a custom uh, rear panel you could actually have a power supply that goes extends all the way out to here and then mount that to the side that's quite possible so you could actually put in virtually a standard ATX supply on there with uh, just some modifications to the mountings and you could probably get that one in there um, without too much problem again all of these things um, are possible but this just shows you uh, how I've done this particular one and uh, 
basically I hope you like it and if you've got any comments on this video be very interested to hear them um, one last thing actually I'd like to show you is on the front panel side you can see there I put a little cutout now the reason for that cutout is you can have an optional uh, feature in there which adds a hot swap um, two and a half inch drive which you can access through the front flap I'll show you that in a minute when I turn the machine back around again so you can see everything running around uh, nice and coolly there um, these cables you could tidy them away a little bit more and in fact if you wanted you could um, mount for instance a uh, water cooling radiator and have um, one of the Corsair H, uh, H60, H70 products on the front there that would work really really well if you wanted to have a higher power setup and uh, everything would fit in there really nicely I'll just show you the door closing so you can see all of that so this goes up, system still running if it wasn't running this camera wouldn't be working and there we go, that all just locks really nice and neatly there and you can see that this is quite a nice conversion I think uh, the back, although obviously it, when you convert one of these it has to look different to the original because you can't really keep that original look with the uh, Micro ATX type of setup it's all very neat and well finished and um, the actual back plate in there comes from a Lian Li uh, motherboard um, so it does take a little bit of work to get all these things going so it's not I would say a beginner's DIY uh, project um, but I can supply you with certainly um, help on this as well as of course um, all of the different laser cut bits and a guide on how to do it okay so I just want to show you the front now again so there you can see everything working there nicely and uh, I will now show you the rear flap so there you go if you had a two and a half inch SSD you wanted to plug in there you could plug in there you also could of course uh, decide to put more drives on the internal because there's really quite a bit of space in there so for instance what you could have is you could have another drive or two mounted down the bottom or you could have a drive here mounted where the cables are as long as you don't come out to uh, a greater depth than uh, the original drive carrier that I've got showing there um, you, could, you could mount a good array of stuff one last option um, which I'm going to be doing and, uh, and also showing on here would be to actually put in um, a slim DVD drive player now that will attach with industrial velcro onto the side here you'd have a different cut in the back so actually you'll have a a thing there with um, with an opening for the DVD to go in and out and you can then um, actually have a DVD player mounted on the back of here so whenever you need to um, upgrade software or something that requires stuff on a CD or a DVD you can just pop it in the back rather than popping it in the front and that way you don't use, lose any functionality so I think this is a really neat way of uh, converting to micro ATX, a uh, case that often is overlooked um, just because it presents such difficulties to uh, the DIY uh, PC model. But actually, with a little bit of ingenuity and some borrowing of parts uh, from an earlier model, it is possible to do this. So, okay, thank you very much for watching, and um, that's it.